Let me tell you a story, who I am and why I do what I do. I am Adam Al Masri. Welcome to my channel. Let me start the story from the beginning. I was born and raised in Egypt as a Coptic Orthodox Christian. Arabic is my native tongue. And yes, I'm an ex-Christian, not an ex-Muslim. But growing up as a Christian kid in Egypt doesn't mean I haven't studied the Quran from childhood. Bizarre, right? We were forced to study and memorize the Quran from a very young age. One thing you need to know is that Studying the Quran in school is mandatory, regardless of your personal faith, because this is how we learn Arabic as a subject in school. As a Christian child, I still had to memorize passages from the Quran, study their meaning and grammar year after year in order to pass my school. Somehow, that led me to grow personal interest towards comparative theology between the Bible and the Quran. By the age of 18, I had read the entire Quran together with two of the major Islamic interpretations, Tafsir al-Razi and Tafsir al-Jalaliyin. At that time, I was very much into discussions and debates with some Muslim friends who were also interested in religious arguments. That in itself enriched my knowledge in Islam even further. By the age of 23, I was very familiar with the Hadith and Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, that is, the sayings and the traditions of the Muslim Prophet. But I have to admit that I lacked much of the critical thinking at the time, and I was also cherry-picking. I applied logic and criticism only to the Quran, but I continued with my Christian faith reading the Bible with a completely different lens. It wasn't until I was 31 I joined a highly ranked Australian university to do my second bachelor's degree in Biblical studies and textual criticism. And after a few years, I was convinced that God doesn't send scriptures or holy books or prophets. These are all man-made attempts that were contributed to God. And finally, at the age of 37, I started my master's degree in religious studies around how the concept of God and the devil evolved through the three Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. However, in 2017, I had to drop my master's for financial reasons. And that's when I started my first YouTube channel, Adam al Masri in Arab, which eventually led to Adam al Masri English channel. So I guess the important question now is, why is this channel? And why do I criticize religion? In other words, why do I challenge other people's faiths? And the answer to that question, my friend, is simple. If your faith or religion was a matter of personal belief, and it is not being preached, and sometimes even shoved down other people's throats, there would have been no need for someone like me or a channel like this to criticize religion. But that is not the case. The main problem is that everyone who believes in a religion, regardless of what that religion is, every believer thinks that their religion is God's ultimate way. It is what God wants from us humans and the only way to salvation. You believe that this needs to be preached to others, taught in schools, forced on kids and wives at home, and even demanded by legislations sometimes. What you believe God wants doesn't stay as a matter of personal belief. And that is the problem. And that is the reason I started this YouTube channel. For instance, if you are a Muslim man who believe that God commanded head cover for women, and a woman must wear a hijab in public, fair enough if that's what you believe. You can choose to marry a woman who freely chooses to wear the hijab. But it is unfair and unjust to marry a Muslim woman who does not wear a hijab, then after marriage, force her to wear it in public, claiming that it is an Islamic farida and not a choice. Not only that, but if she objects to the idea and resists the demand, you cannot then tell her that she has to obey you as the husband since that is also God's command. Now, your personal beliefs affect the quality of life of another person. Here is another example. If you are a Jehovah's Witness and you believe that blood transfusion is not allowed by God and it corrupts one's soul, fair enough, you can believe what you want to believe. In the case of you needing blood transfusion, you may accept or reject the medical treatment. But if your child was found in a life-threatening condition and they need blood transfusion, 
you cannot reject what could save their life. Now, your personal beliefs affects the well-being of another person. When people start believing that their religion is the one and only right way to live and push it onto others, whether by preaching or by social pressure, claiming that this is what God wants from us, I must then stand up for others against that claim. I have every right to make a counter-argument claiming that God didn't command any of this and never sent prophets or books that dictate how we choose to live our lives. But that's when believers of all religions get upset, messaging me and commenting on my videos, why don't you leave people faiths alone? Stop challenging them. Well, how about you too? Stop preaching to others what God wants and leave people to live their lives as they want. If you happen to believe that homosexuality is a sin and that God hates this activity, if you think that homosexuality is an abomination, then fair enough. Don't live that lifestyle yourself. You can refrain from same-sex relationships for yourself. But under no circumstances, you should make a claim that God hates gay people and calls for their persecution as it happens in some countries and demands conversion therapy for them as it happens in other countries. Keep your beliefs for yourself and don't try to change others. And let others also believe what they want to believe and accept homosexuality as a totally natural way of being. If you want to preach about your religion and what you believe, you need to accept that others may not accept your beliefs. Freedom of speech is a two-way road, my friend. The bottom line is, all exclusive religions and people of faiths try to convert others, preach to others, claim that the Bible or the Quran or any other holy book is simply God's manual to how humanity at large should live and behave. And that in itself is not a matter of personal belief. Religion, as we know it today, is never a matter of personal belief. And that is the core reason for my channel and my work. If you have the right to claim that God said something, I have an equal right to say that he never did.